some days you just need a freshen up and today is that day. I'm going to do a quick makeup tutorial and a chat about these fabulous little finds I got from Amazon. If you're in, let's get started. So let's talk about skincare. I am obsessed with using castor oil in the evening, nighttime only. I don't use it during the day and I mix it with regular body lotions and face creams. I'll link the video that I did up here. It went viral, you guys loved it and for good reason. In the morning, I like to keep things very simple. So I would just cleanse my face and then I love to use this. This is Ombre Lisse. Ombre Lisse is a French pharmacy product. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's rich, it's soothing, it's suitable for everybody. Makeup artists swear by it. It is the perfect base for your makeup. It contains shea butter, it's got aloe vera, it just feels like, oh, gorgeousness on the skin. So if you haven't tried this, I recommend you definitely get yourself one. You will totally, totally keep ordering. I'll link everything below so you will not miss anything. My sunscreen is La Roche-Posay. It is their 50 plus SPF. I like this one because it does not interfere with my makeup. It doesn't create pilling. Super easy, super lightweight, and it does last all day. And as I said, it doesn't interfere with my foundation. Let it absorb. You can also get that tinted. That is absolutely a must. So that's my skincare prep. I do a few other things, but today I just want to make things really simple and easy. I am obsessed with this. This is the Aborian CC Cream. It is in the shade Claire. It is such a fabulous base for your makeup. I use it almost like a primer. It evens out your skin, evens out sun damage and sun spots. It's quite unique. It comes out white and then I just pop it onto my face and rub it in almost like a moisturizer. Oh, I've got hair. So if you can see, it just gives a little bit of radiance and glow and it evens out your skin. The next thing that I'm going to use is my concealer. Tried, tested and true. This is the Maybelline Eraser. You can see this is a fairly used one. I think that this is a fabulous under eye concealer. I don't go too far over my under eyes because that's where creasing occurs. Just really where I need it, where I've got darkness and shadows. So a little bit of this goes a long way. I just use the sponge just to pat it under my eyes. Now I'm going to do my foundation. The foundation that I absolutely adore right now and I tell everybody about is the Wet n Wild Dewy Photo Focus. So this is the Dewy formulation. They also do a matte. I'm in the shade Soft Beige. It is such a lovely foundation. It's got a, a little plastic doe foot and it does come out quite quickly, so be careful with that. I'm going to use my fingers today just to get that on and just literally spread it on my face. Now I really do want a little bit of bronzer, so I'm going to use the Chanel Les Beige. I'm in the very light shade. I probably could have got a darker one if I'm honest. Just use my brush and pop that on all over. So for my eyes, I'm going to use this quad palette from Max Factor. You see me reach for this a lot, to be honest with you. I really love the shades. I love the lavenders, the purples, and I'm going to put my shadow fairly high up so that it conceals my hooded eyes. And whilst they're not too bad, they are definitely beginning to get quite hooded. So I'm going to use this shade first and I will mix it with this one just for my crease tap off the excess and just come up quite high up and sweep that left to right. Okay, so that's that. Next, I'm just going to pop some shimmer just on my movable lid. I don't like shimmer up here. I think that that is very aging. I'm using quite a fluffy brush, which probably isn't the best idea because there will be a bit of fallout, but I'll clean that up right at the end. I'm going to apply this darker shade with a liner brush and just bring that underneath my lashes. Now on my lash line, I'm going to apply a little bit of liner. Now I do use black and you've got to be careful with black because that can be very aging. I'm just going to use a simple liquid liner and just place it just along my lashes. I'll do that off camera. The mascara that I adore at the moment is the Maybelline Sensational. It is fabulous. I love the spoolie. I talk about this spoolie all the time. 
It is a fabulous little spoolie. It's got a short side and a long side and it just gives really nice thick full lashes which I adore. I'm going to do that off camera. It's amazing how mascara really changes the way your face looks. So now I'm going to do my blush, my brows and my lipstick and then we're about done. So for my cheeks, I'm going to use this. This is a NYX blush. It is called Daydream. It's very similar to one of the NARS shades and it is very pigmented. I love it. So I like to use my blush in the apples of my cheeks. So I pop it here and then I'll sweep it nice and high. I find putting your blush in the apples here gives you a, a youthful, juicy, radiant glow. So I just tap it on whilst having a cheeky grin. Because as we age, our cheeks definitely start to become flatter and we look heavier here. So what you don't want to do is have too much down here. And I've kind of gone a little bit low here, so I'm just going to flick that up. So going over my nose, I love that sun-kissed, natural look that you can get if you just pop a little bit of your blush across your nose. And a tiny bit just on my forehead, chin, just where the sun would normally catch. For my brows, I'm going to use this IT Cosmetic pen. It's got a spoolie on one side and the pencil on the other. It's called Brow Power, I think. It's such a fab little one. It's so lovely to put on, really creamy. And I don't want to go too heavy, just to fill in my gaps. And then once I've popped the pencil on, I can just make it a little softer by brushing through. So for my lips, I'm going to use my favorite of the moment. This is a Max Factor lip called Cherry Kiss. And this is a Revolution lip liner in strawberry pink. And my lips are quite wonky, so this will help. So just a little bit of powder where I'm shining. And that's it. That is my everyday makeup. I just need to go and do my hair and I'll be right back. That's it, all dry, ready to start my day. I promised to talk about what I'm wearing. These are my Amazon latest finds. I love, love this blouse. It's really gorgeous. It's such a great fabric and it's double lined at the front. So it just is beautiful. If you get the light one, the cream one, then you're not going to display anything. I love the sleeves. They're really nice and full and billowy and elasticated wrists, which aren't too constricting. You know that when something's too tight because I tend to wear my sleeves kind of mid wrist. Also, look at these bracelets. So this was a set and in this set were six bracelets so you can layer them up. I will probably take off these little tails uh, or extenders because I do have very, very slim wrists. But look how gorgeous these are. I've got a matching necklace set. And in fact, there were so many, there were six in this set of bracelets. So I've got some more that I have yet to even open. I mean, a girl can't have enough bits of jewellery, right? Let's face it. <laughs> so that's it. I'll link everything in the description box below and also in a pinned comment. I do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, perhaps give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't done so already, I highly recommend you subscribe. I bring content every single week for women just like you to help you not only look good, but to feel fabulous. Until the next video, bye for now.